a forgotten cemetery. I mean, there's, they say there's like 78 stones in here. But look at this. This is what I really saw. I really wanted to see. Look at this ironwork. What is up, guys? Billy Mac here for another adventure. Today we're up here in the northern part of my town looking for an old cemetery. It's been around 240 something years. It's really cool. Come on, go find it. What's really neat about this cemetery spot is the, last, the oldest stone here is from, 19, from 1797. And if you think about it, the person probably lived about 40, 50 years. They probably saw, they are probably born in British colony, saw a revolution, saw our state become the 13th state and all the other states become states. It's, it's really cool. Now how do I get there? Oh, here. And if you're big into letterboxing and geocaching, I'll put the links to these down in the description below. Forgotten cemetery. I mean, they say there's like 78 stones in here. But look at this. This is what I really saw. I really wanted to see. Look at this ironwork. Daniel Appley, 1854, he died, he was 32. And she was 25. Wow. And I'm 35, John. Come to pay you all a little respect. It's been a while since anyone's been up here, it looks like. Who are you? Harriet? How old are you, sweetie? 28? They died so young. Again, more awesome ironwork. There had to be another stone in here. Probably got knocked down or something. Yep, there it is. Oh, that's sad. When people's stones fall into the ground, they'd be forgotten about. I really saw something over there that I, I piqued my interest. Military. Who are you? Palmer, Noah Palmer, you Noah, yes, sir, thank you for your service. Okay, this says here, it says ASR 1775. This person probably fought for our rights to be free today. That's cool. That's a cool thing to know.
That's a cool thing to know. Alright, now you both rest easy. Now they're out and about, let's do some fishing. Someone hit it. All right, guys. It's been a couple hours since um, we were out and about exploring. Came home, took me a shower, made sure I had no ticks on me. You know, um, checked myself over. That area was pretty, pretty wooded, uh, pretty covered in thick vegetation and. Ticks are a strong possibility, especially this this time of year. Uh, if you're into letterboxing, geocaching, I do recommend going and checking out. It was really, really cool. I, I enjoyed the hunt. I enjoyed trying to find it. Um, it was worth it, and it's sad that that cemetery is being long forgotten and overgrown. Um, if you like the type of videos where I go out and explore things, discover new things, smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit subscribe. i got plenty more things coming up for you all. Uh, but in the meantime, guys, be safe, have fun, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.